figured I'd change it up a little bit, and it's probably going to be shaky since I'm holding the camera and it's going to look terrible, but whatever. Going with it. So, I've been recently thinking about if, like, the fire lifestyle is possible. The whole financial independence, retire early thing. It's kind of an interesting idea, and it's something I guess I've been thinking about a long time before I even knew that was a term or a thing that people did. I just always felt like, you know, as most people probably do, like, do I really want to work for, like, 45 plus years? And I don't know. I don't hate my job in particular at the moment. I've been doing it for a long time. I hated it originally, but now it's, it's okay. It's a lot better. <laughs> so, I don't know. I feel like it would be a nice um, option if it's able to. And then I started looking into it a little bit more and the more different um, ways about it, such as like first off is like fat fire where you retire and you're you're not going to sacrifice anything. You're going to be making so much money from your just investment portfolio, of your stocks, bonds, dividends, whatever, rental properties that you're just, you have no worries. You just can live your life and do whatever. That's not going to be me. <laughs> I will not be uh, making that much. The other one's lean fire, which is the more reasonable, like, hey, you're just making enough from your, like, stocks, your dividends, your whatever, your, you have enough bonds, you have maybe a rental property that, like, hey, your stuff's paid off and you're getting a little bit of money in there, enough to, like, cover bills and stuff, and you have still the independence to, like, live off that and not need a job, which still sounds really hard. That sounds the most doable, but... Mm, I don't know. Pretty far away off from that one, too. <laughs> Might happen. Maybe. Then the third option of the whole barista fire, where you're just working on very part-time job, kind of like Lean Fire as I understand it, except you have a part-time job that also supplements your income. And maybe you're working two shifts a week or something like that. You're getting like 15 hours, making a little bit of money, but nowhere near a full-time job, and you have a lot of time to do whatever. Now that seems really reasonable and really achievable in the future. It's not exactly what I would want to do, I don't think. I think I'd rather just work a couple more years full-time to then, I don't know, retire. I think I would rather flip in between, like doing the whole taking a year off or something like that than going back to working full-time for a year or something like that, or taking three months off and then going back to working full-time. It just feels like if you're working two or three days a week or something like that, uh, why not just work five? Like, I don't know, you can't really, like, vacation and do all the cool stuff. with the. T you'll just have a lot of time off, but not enough to actually do any of the cool stuff. You're just surviving. But at that point, if you're able to work more hours, I think I would rather work more hours and 
I don't know, retire in a better way later, if that makes sense, or take a small vacation, maybe even two, three months off, maybe just retire in the winter, come back and work in the spring, summer, and fall, and just get out of Indiana for the winter, that would be nice. I don't have something to think about and pursuing and I guess and the very worst I mean if it doesn't work out it's not like hmm, I would have done anything different you know what I mean like you're still gonna be investing the same and I don't know I guess the main thing that would maybe change is just could have spent more, I guess, having fun in the now instead of saving for this potential fun that maybe never even happens. I don't know, something I'm thinking about with this whole investing journey of still trying to make $100. I think I'm at like 10 or something at the moment and looking like I'm going to end with like 1250 or maybe a little more than that. But it's been fun and it gives me a head start on next year, which I'm going to try, try, keep, keep on keeping on next year, definitely. And eventually, maybe I'll, uh, it'll all add up just slowly, slowly, slowly. <laughs>